Hey guys, welcome to Tech Life. Um, I'm continuing my series on my coding bootcamp at Southern Methodist University. And I am in week two now. We are continuing with CSS. And I think uh, we are getting ready to start uh, using Bootstrap. I, I, hopefully if you're watching this video, you, you have an idea of what I'm saying because you have an interest in this. But if you don't, actually let me take a minute and just show you what I'm talking about. All right guys, so this is my setup uh, that I have. I use dual screen at home, you don't have to do it. Um, it does make it a little bit easier when um, you're you're developing and studying because I like to watch videos and take notes. And then I also have Visual Studio Code open and I usually have a bunch of things open on my computer and it's just easier when I can have two screens. And in fact, I prefer to have three, but anyways, um, let's take a look. Um, right there is my Evernote. For, uh, for JavaScript for something else that I'm doing. On the right is a website that I essentially have just on my computer. And there is my Visual Studio Code. All right guys, so here on the left is my, um, what would be my browser, what would be a, a website. And then right here is um, Visual Studio Code. Um, I have an index HTML file. I have a style.css file and I have a index.js file. We'll just worry about the uh, HTML and CSS. These are these are the things that will start the first week, or that you'll start the first week, and um, this is the beginning of a website. So it's not going to be fancy, but um, what you'll learn is that you have two two types of files, and in this one is where you create everything that someone is going to see the structure can think of it as like the backbone of what someone's going to see on their website. And when you style it with CSS is what makes it look pretty. It adds color. It, it uh, moves things around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link my style sheet to my index page or my HTML page. Um, with that little command right there. And then in my body, I'm going to say, hello, YouTube. That is our first website. Not fancy, I know, but these are the building blocks to creating things like Facebook and Amazon. Um, they all use this technology. Uh, and then to style it, if I wanted to make that uh, red, there you go. Welcome to Tech Life. See? Now we are making a website. So that's just a real quick introduction to some of the things that we'll be learning. Let's go talk about the end of week two. It is Saturday morning. I don't even have my watch on me. It's like 8 a.m. Class starts at 10, but I got off of work at 7. And if you guys remember, I work from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So. Um, this is my first Saturday that I'm going to go from work, getting off of work at 7, and class starting at 10 and going till 2, so I am going to be really tired, but, you know, whatever. It's, uh, it is what it is. Gotta make it happen. So, let's go find a nice, quiet place, and, uh, I'll talk to you about week 2, and, uh, I don't know, maybe something else. Hey guys, so now I'm sitting at Dallas Hall, really pretty building. I don't know what they do here. I just code here. Code here, not go here, code here. Um, so today, Saturday is, when class starts today will be the end of week two. And as I mentioned, um, we started getting into Bootstrap and I think all of today is focused on Bootstrap. Uh, and uh, then we are going to get our assignment, which we actually already got uh, a preview of our assignment. And something that I like that they're doing is that uh, week one, we, we had to do a project and um, it was based off of uh, CSS and HTML, right? 
and um, today's project is going to be rebuilding um, using bootstrap the the previous project so um, you get to kind of see the difference of using you know just vanilla HTML and CSS and then using bootstrap and and how much better it is to use that once you get past the initial learning curve then we have I think the rest of the week to complete that assignment I looked ahead a little bit and next week we start JavaScript which is something I'm super excited about okay, so let me talk a little bit more about coming to this coding boot camp uh, with zero experience um, I think that the program is set up very well for people that show up in that situation um, it is going to be a little bit more challenging if, if you don't know anything at all about HTML and CSS and if you've never coded before um, but one thing that the program does is that once you're accepted they give you um, some pre-work that you have to complete and um, it may not seem like it when you first get it if you've never done it but it is very basic um, and they do tell you that it's going to take you some time like several hours to do some of the assignments if you've never done it but if you do all them and, and complete all of the work you will start the program with enough knowledge that you don't have to feel completely overwhelmed so I, I thought that was something that was really really good about the program um, in case you are considering uh, signing up for the program something that is really neat that I've never used before is slack which is basically a messaging program I guess in the simplest terms but um, think of like uh, Facebook Messenger I guess but with with more ability we use it all the time I mean all day long people are slacking each other and they have it broken up between you know uh, different categories and, and different classes and stuff like that you can talk to each other and what's neat is that you can actually use it during class so everybody's always slacking each other in class uh, just sharing information and you can even slack the instructor if you have a question you know and you don't want to just ask out loud for whatever reason you can just slack your instructor and um, you know they'll get it and they'll they'll address the question right there in the in front of class so all right so that is going to be I guess the end of this video um, that's kind of the recap for the week I will talk to you guys next week next week should be interesting as we get into JavaScript that's that's when uh, we're getting into stuff that I don't know as well that's I think when the stress level is gonna start going up so apparently this campus is just full of runners in the mornings it's probably not something I will be doing because I will fall asleep. Thank you for being here and um, like, subscribe, and I will see you at the next video. Bye.